Rules, rules, rules. We must follow the rules. When our leaders give us rules to follow, ours is not to reason why, ours is simply to obey. The only problem with obeying the rules is that I can't figure out what the rules are because they seem to change every five seconds. Take the chair of the House Committee on Double Standards, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. As we all know, on September 11th, 2001, some people did something to someone in New York City. Sadly, some other people blamed certain people who weren't the people who did the thing. And so we ask Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, how should the people who get blamed by the other people, even though they're not the people who did the thing, respond when the other people blame them for the thing they didn't do? So to me, I say raise hell, make people uncomfortable. Because here's the truth, here's the truth. Far too long, we have lived with the discomfort of being a second-class citizen. And frankly, I'm tired of it, and every single Muslim in this country should be tired of it. <laughs> CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. See, now we have a rule. When some people do something to someone, we shouldn't blame other people who didn't do the thing for doing the thing that the people who did do the thing did to someone. We should only blame the people who did the thing to someone. That's the rule. These are our elected officials. Who are we to question their orders? All right. Now, recently, in Minneapolis, once again, some people did something to someone. But this time, the some people were four police officers, the someone was George Floyd, and the thing that the people did was that one of them kneeled on his neck while the others stood guard until he died. So, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, the people who did the thing have all been charged for the thing they did. What do we do now? Not only do we need to disinvest for in police, but we need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. The Minneapolis Police Department is rotten to the root. And so when we dismantle it, we get rid of that cancer and we allow for something beautiful to rise. So, even though the people who did something to someone have all been arrested and charged for the thing they did, we should blame the entire group that the people who did something to someone belong to, and we should punish the entire group for the thing that was done to someone. We dismantle the entire group. We say that the entire group is rotten to the root, and we call the entire group a cancer. Now I'm confused. You see, I thought that we were only supposed to blame the people who did something to someone, not the people from the larger group who didn't do something to someone. But now I'm learning that you punish the larger group that the people who did the thing are part of. Why would we do that? Well, I don't know much about the Minneapolis Police Department, but I'm guessing that this isn't the first time that someone from that department did something to someone. Suppose police officers from the Minneapolis Police Department have a long history of doing something to someone. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar would then be saying, look, if a group continues to produce people who do something to someone over and over and over again, then you can call the entire group or the entire institution a cancer rotten to the root. And you can call for the entire group or the entire institution to be completely dismantled so that something beautiful can rise in its place. Now, my position has always been that you blame the people who do the thing but that you also search for any underlying causes of them doing the thing that they did to someone. 
So, if there's an underlying ideology that promotes people doing something to someone, then you can blame the ideology as well. If there's some sort of underlying corruption that convinces some people to think that it's okay to do something to someone, then you expose the corruption that makes them think this way. But now I'm learning that if a group or an institution just keeps producing people who do something to someone, then you can call the entire group or institution a cancer rotten to the root, and you can demand that the entire group or institution be completely dismantled in order to prevent the group or institution from continuing to produce people who do something to someone. I think I'm going to continue with my traditional approach, blaming the people who do something to someone and searching for any underlying causes. But for those of you who prefer Congresswoman Ilhan Omar's approach, can you think of any groups in the world who just keep producing people who do something to someone, where the thing that they do might be terrorist attacks, honor killings, grooming young girls for gang rape, female genital mutilation, and so on? And that, my friends, is how you expose hypocrisy while being so incredibly vague in everything you say that the YouTube censorship squad isn't quite sure what they're banning you for. So vague, yet so clear.